All right, what's up, you goofy goobers? Welcome back to Toho 8, Toho Aya Show, Toho Imperishable Night, whatever you want to call it. So we have one final route left to do. Well, sort of. We do have one left, one route that I want to do left. Uh, that being the Yomu Yuyuko team, which I've never played as Yomu either, since this is the first game the first mainline game that she's playable in, because I'm pretty sure she's playable in Toho 7.5. That doesn't count, that's a fighting game, that's not a shooter. <laughs> so it's, uh, let me actually look at their abilities, because I didn't do that with Mermelia and Sakia. It says, um, let's see. The human side of the gauge is half-sized, and a bomb is awarded if a stage is beaten with less than three left. Interesting. So if you don't have any bombs left, you get a bomb, an extra bomb, if you beat a stage? Well, let's try it out. What the hell is going on with Yomu's bullets? <laughs> that is weird. She has like a little wisp thing that, uh, shoots bullets? That's interesting. It's very uh, creative, I will say. So does that mean that, uh... Does that mean that it's gonna be easiest to... Is that why people said that it's easiest to beat the run with Yomu? Because of that little wisp thing she has? I mean, maybe, I don't know. Could be. Or maybe it's easier because of the 50% human gauge thing. That could be it, too. I'm figuring things out still. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Yomu has to say. You, show yourself. The wriggling one hiding in the darkness there. Yomu, don't leave me behind here. What are you saying? The night's very short. We have to find the villains quickly and cut them into mash. No, I didn't mean... Cut them into mash? Are you cutting them or mashing them? Make up your mind! Now, before you get cut or mashed, tell us which direction we should be going. Yelmo, save the excitement for when the dawn is nearing. I told you not to leave me behind, didn't I? The night's only just started. And I'm fucking uncomfortable. Jeez, there we go. What's with these two? Oh, there's a big firefly in front of us. Did you not notice her yet? Firefly watching's quite nice, too. Yomu, would you like to take a side trip? Do we really have time for that now? I'll slice this bug to ribbons with my rock on My Rokonken. Rokonken? Yeah. You're spending the most time just talking like this. It's been such a long time since I've seen anyone who wouldn't be pleased to see fireflies. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting into the... I don't know what voice I gave Yomu. I know what voice I gave Yuyuko, because it's very unique, but... Yomu just kind of has a generic girl voice. So, yeah. Oops. 
Not a good start, really. <laughs> Well, you might be able to still get the time bonus. I don't know. Unlikely. <laughs> oh, I was like 50 off. Dang. Nah, I, I'm gonna redo that. So apparently, yeah, Yomu starts... Okay, so I think the gimmick with Yomu is that it's easier for her to get to the human side because she's half ghost and half human. Which makes a lot of sense, you know, character-wise. So I really like that attention to detail that, you know, because Yomu is half ghost, she only has half- she only has to fill up half the human side. <laughs> Which is really funny. That should be good. Okay, so far so good. Alright, well, I think, uh... I think Yomu's addi- Gameplay's kind of addicting, not gonna lie. The, uh, the extra spell card. Oh, I almost had it. I've never gotten that, by the way. Those last spells are kind of rough. <laughs> Lady Yuko, it takes a while for you to defeat enemies because you don't focus your aim enough. My, haven't you ever heard the saying, haste makes waste? Ah, yes, we're in a hurry. So where should we go next? Well, how about we see which way this branch falls? Is that really okay? Wait, with the way you're holding that, there's really only one direction it will fall. Round and round and round it goes. Oh, how, like, lazy sounding Yuyuko is. It's the Song of the Night Sparrow.
I'm lucky, I can get a really good time bonus on this level. Maybe. I mean, I'm not, uh, not doing the greatest here. Most of them aren't even getting their familiars out. That's really bad. Here, I don't use a bomb to get myself at the human side. Killing me. Why did Paludia possess Yuyuko? You remember my Paludia voice? <laughs> wait, wait. You're in the way. The two of you aren't hearing my song, are you? Perhaps you're not human? It's nighttime, but I hear a sparrow calling. Yomu? Lady Yuko, please don't get distracted by the song. That's the cry of a night sparrow. It's one of the most accursed songs in the world. Accursed, how rude of you! At the very least, my singing's better than the sound of the approaching phantoms, isn't it? Yes, indeed. It's no contest at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I simply gave Yuyuko Plutia's voice, because Yuyuko is lazy. Please don't agree with her. Yomu, listen. The cries got louder again. I wonder where they're coming from. Geez, whether you're human or you were human, it doesn't matter to me. Now the fun Yokai Festival begins. Okay, Yomu. Shall we hurry along? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, I suppose we should, yeah. But we've got to shoot down the bird in front of us first off. I don't like sparrows. They're too bony. Ye shall not pass. I mean, for how. I mean, apparently her song. Her singing sucks, but damn her battle theme is a banger. Well, we might actually get the time bonus here if we're lucky. We'll see. As long as we don't get hit, which, you know, I probably jinxed it. Oh, damn it. Almost had it. The Night Sparrow's appearance is going to attract lots of yokai and other things before long. Let's move on before that happens. We have to hurry. Hang on. Got a bone in my throat. Didn't you just say you don't like sparrows? It's not good to be a picky eater, Yomu. And there's the stream reference. There's the title. <laughs> Yomu and Yuyoko eating KFC. <laughs> there you go. There's your reference for the day. Fucking Yuyoko eating KFC.
Yeah, good, good, good idea. That's where that comes from, I'm pretty sure. Look how close I was to the time bonus, too. I could have had that, brah. Oh, well. Well, we get one continue. That's good enough for me, I guess. Oh. A lot of BS going on here. <laughs> Probably go out of my way for extra points if I can. All right, here's Kaine. I mean, at least Yuko has like a pretty wide. She has like a spread shot, you know. She's like fucking contra up in here. Is it you? Are you the ones that are trying to attack the village in the middle of the night? Oh. It seems like we've gotten lost in some strange place. Yeah, where are we? There's no point playing innocent. I can tell you're ominous ghosts. Here comes the funny pyramid. Oh, damn it. Crap, these ghosts are really something. Oh, how cruel. Treating ghosts like outcasts, really. I'll take it. Ludia goes to KFC to eat Mistia. Oh, I know all those points, man. Half of what I loved about doing the, uh, you know, EOSD routing is learning when to go to the top of the screen to get all the points. That was half the fun there. What business do you have in some place like this? You attacked us before, right? We're just going to respond to that. There's nothing here. Just move on already. It's easy to say that, but... We really don't know where we're moving to. Are you just wandering with no goal? No, no, Yomu. We're certainly heading in the right direction. All you need to do is go where I tell you. What is your purpose? To restore this abnormal moon to normal? No, no, Yomu. Eh? We're having our fill of a wonderful nighttime see sightseeing tour. You two are really way too suspicious. Although phantoms are suspicious at the best of times. Wait, I, I can't really just let you say that. Phantoms aren't suspicious. No, no. Shut up! You two really do seem dangerous. Looks like I'll have to drive you away from here. Although I don't quite get what you're doing. Hey, hey, Yomu. So far, we've had a bug, a bird, and now a beast. What are you trying to say? Hmm, I'll help myself to help all of your history. Every last bit, even from before you became phantoms. I wonder if a dragon's up next. Lady Yuko, please concentrate on what's happening now and not what's about to happen next. Oh, fuck. Come on, don't be fucking up on Kaine again, man. You can't be doing that. The Ghastly Dream. Bruh, come on. I, I do, I did, I'm doing it again, man. I'm fucking up. Maybe I need practice on her boss fight or something if this keeps happening. I like how fast Yomu is, though. She's kind of like a second Marissa. 
And obviously, Yuyuko being really slow makes sense, though. Because she's fat. Yo, Yuyuko's fat. She can't move very much. Is Yuyuko, like, the opposite of a, of a focus character? Like, her, her, her spread shot is actually... Like, she, she has the spread shot, and Yomu has the focus shot. Is it, like, a weird, um... Oh, I don't know what to say, actually. I mean, hey, at least I have more spread when I'm, you know, focusing as you go. So close. Yeah, Yuko's spread shot is like weird. Man. Yuko is drunk. Either high. So if anything, I should be standing in place as much as possible, but that's kind of hard. Hmm. Beast? Please, my lady. You shouldn't treat humans like beasts. No, no, Yomu. This girl appears human right now. But she's a half-beast, kind of like you. Although, I think humans are beasts too, so I guess she's a full beast. Damn it, if the, if the moon hadn't been incomplete, I'd been lost as- I wouldn't lost to such phantoms. Oh, yes, yes, we've got to take back the full moon. Now, next up is a dragon dish. Can't wait, Yomu. Because of my voice. Oh, she's high. That's why. Oops, somehow I, I skipped that back soon. Somehow I feel kind of concerned. A dragon would have lots of scales, though. Well, um, I guess we'll see how this goes. Anyways, doing a uh, stage four powerful, which I think means we're fighting Marissa now. Because we fought Reimu as Sakuya, so it only makes sense that we fight Marissa as these two, which... Oh, that's not gonna go well, because I suck at fighting Marissa. When you play as Marissa for so long, you end up getting accustomed to, uh, playing as her, you know? And you get screwed over by your own, uh, your own playstyle. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know why I said that. Give me all those points, bro. Yeah. Oops. I, that was a problem. I was getting greedy again. Damn, Yomu. <laughs> she has a fucking laser, dude. Yeah, let me get those free bombs. Woo! There we go. Move and I'll shoot! I messed up, Zeh. I mean, shoot and I'll move. Right away! What? That's strange, running into you like a place like this? Well, uh, I'm just hunting some troublesome yokai like usual, Zeh. Troublesome? Do you know who's doing all this then? I'm telling you, even ordinary people could understand that. Well, and I understand, Zeh. How couldn't I? When the ones gathering up this strange air are flying right at me. Tomorrow's the moon viewing festival, Zeh. That we've been waiting for. I already got bored of staring at tonight's moon, da Zeh. Oh, you don't seem to understand. We're the ones who are stopping the night. 
Yeah, and... That's why I came here to kick your butts, ain't it? Hey, you. Uh, the black clothed one. Don't you feel anything when you look at that work moon behind you? Didn't I just say I got bored of looking at it, Zeh? You can't look away from reality. While we're arguing like this, that moon is sinking lower. Don't you understand that things will get really bad if we just leave it be? Ah! An endless night will cause far more, far more trouble for sure, Zeh. For instance, the bamboo here will grow eternally if the night lasts too long. It might even reach the moon, perhaps, Zeh. The nail that sticks out gets struck down. Oh, how would you move if you get struck down? Yeah, I'll move, alright. I'll keep on moving until dawn breaks, eh? I'm just gonna bomb this shit. <laughs> I have I have the right to bomb when I feel uncomfortable. Actually, wait, this isn't that spell card that I was thinking of. It's Milky Way that I hate. Yo, 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 do a funny, do a funny. Oh, well, there goes another bomb. Sorry, I can't help it. I love singing. Oh. Can I get Marissa? Oh, we yeah, have this fucking one. The one that I really suck at dodging. <laughs> ah, oh well. It was worth a try. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 don't do that, bruh. Fuck. Lady Yuko, she's fled. Should we pursue? What a bother. I mean, we're headed that way, too, but... Every time, man, I suck at doing this section. <laughs> Probably because, you know, I'm panicking from, uh... Dying so much to the boss. Yep, just do that, you know Well, well, hey, well, at least do better at fighting Marissa than I did when fighting, um, <laughs> fighting with Raymu, that's for sure. Okay, you shot, I moved, now the real battle starts here, Zed. You're still up for this? The game's already decided, isn't it? Hmm, there's two of you, so I get two tries. Oh, I got kind of stuck there. Oops, my bad. Oh, so close. Alright, get some points, bro. There's so many stars, bro. Oops. Wow, I'm not doing good. <laughs> I'm doing very poorly. Well, at least kill- at least kill her with these.
Alright, that wasn't too terrible, I guess. Now to use a continue on Marissa, bro, that's not good. Can't be having that. I should have learned Marissa's pattern better. That was such an awful waste of time. For phantoms, there's no such thing as wasted time. Everything is going as planned. Made Marissa Southern? An instant is everything. Everything is but an instant. The time we spent playing the- Ah, oh. uh, shut up, Yomo- Yuko. Huh? I see a huge mansion in the middle of the bamboo forest. Why do I always get Yomu and Yuko mixed up? It's probably because they're Y names. Yomu, didn't I say that it'd be strange to not understand what's happening? Inside there is the dragon dish I've been searching for. Marissa didn't even get to say anything after that. Jeez. I, I haven't made Marissa Southern in all the other three Toho games I've played. <laughs> Yuko's high. Yomu is scared. Marissa's Southern. Luke's spamming me again. Typical. Typical morning. Okay. Well, um... I guess we'll see how this all goes. Or should I use to continue, though? So we have one set of lives left. Na -na -na -na. I love how whenever I come to this stage, I always feel like a fucking party is about to break out. Like, why does it sound like that? <laughs> oh! Dude, I wasn't ready yet. Uh, just focus on killing the Bunny. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Damn, Yuko kicked ass there. Oh, fuck me. Whatever, we got an extra life. I've sealed all the doors! You can't take the princess away now, can you? Looks like we finally found the culprit. This is just a space bird. We're far from done, so don't get worked up. Huh? Some phantoms? Don't get me all worked up, jeez. If you got no business here, leave. We're in the middle of something right now. No way. This moon incident was caused by you, wasn't it? If so, I'll slash you. If not, I'll slash you and move on. Moon incident? Ah, you mean the earth ceiling spell. 
Right. This spell of yours is incredibly troublesome. We'll have to put a stop to that this instant. Now, Yomu, go slash her. Eh, uh, uh, here I go. What, rowdy phantoms? Aren't you going to listen to us even for a little bit? My, I thought we had guests, but it's just some phantoms. Well, there shouldn't be any guests arriving anyway. Yomu, there's another one. Slash her too. Eh, should I go? Oh, look, you shouldn't tease the poor girl like that. The business with the moon is due to my spell, but it was for the sake of the princess and this girl. Even phantoms should have at least this much kindness in them. So you're the culprit? I've got one less person to slash, then. But don't get all worked up yet. Udange, I'll leave this to you. Whatever you do, do not let them take the princess. Leave it to me. There's no slashing going on, but I won't let a single one of those doors be opened. Uh, there isn't much difference between that lady and Lady Yuko. The brain has left, and the bird remains. Yomu, you've got one less person to slash. Eh, slashing will do. Heh <laughs> you've only been thinking of the moon. Don't you see that you've already fallen in my trap? Eh, <laughs> your sense of direction's starting to go insane. You're already unable to fly straight. Speaking of which, Lady Yuko, why'd you call her a bird? She looks like a rabbit. When skinned and eaten, they're the same thing. Remember that. Hey, don't tell lies and don't ignore me. I doubt you'll be able to remain sane after gazing into my eyes. The dialogue is just ever so different that it is worth reading, honestly. <laughs> Here comes the Thug Shaker. Oh fuck. Almost had it. Boom! Take that, bitch. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, this one. This one's fun. There's nothing challenging about this one, it's just fun. Oops, I'm, I'm singing again. Alright, get out of here. Well, that sucked. And I'm out of bombs. Well, that's not good. You know what? Just do that. There we go. I can do that if I want to. Yeah, we're on the last spell car already. Oh, so close. Yeah, it turns out I'm not playing very well today. Actually, I I might be because I'm just not used to Yolo's playstyle. That's probably it. Oh, my head's spinning. I'm starting to feel sort of gross. 
My, my. Your human half got your human half got sick just from being shaken around that much. Well, don't fret. Next we'll eat something that's good for your health. Probably time my bombs better, yeah. I can't believe this. You're far stronger than I thought. Next up, herbal dishes. And that's the end of it, too. Unfortunately, it's not a dragon after all, though. Lady Yuko, do you know something I don't? Not at all. Okay, we have one extra continue for um, Eren's stage, at least. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Get all those points. Yeah. I was on the wrong side. I'm gonna get as many of those as possible, you know? Okay, you're not funny. Just do that. Get all the points, dude. The points are important. Okay. <laughs> Good, so you're following me. We've caught up with you. You won't be escaping now. Yes, you won't be escaping. <laughs> Yu Yuko just wants some drugs, probably. would make sense. Oh, interesting. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, screw those, screw the, uh, screw the orbs. Take it. Bam, 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 bam. Um, where'd she go? Here, here. You really are half baked. The lost sight of you lost sight of me in such a short time. What are you doing? What's that big phantom half of yours there for? Not for chasing people, surely. Well, this is a false pathway I created. So it's no wonder that you lost track of me. False pathway? A false moon in a false sky. You're really overdoing it with this. Ah, impressive. You see that this moon is an illusion. That's a very old moon. One from when the moon was still there in the heavens. Old? A terribly old-fashioned moon with mold growing on it. The moon these days has no rabbits on its surface. Well, the, no, there are rabbits there even now. The people and rabbits of the moon have been living quietly on the far side. Unseen, protected by a barrier. Yes, it's much like your Gensokyo. A Gensokyo on the moon? And so, this illusionary moon is a memory of the past moon. That's why it looks so old-fashioned. So, what are you trying to do by dragging this musty old moon out? But my task is already coming to an end. The full moon is the one key that links the moon to the Earth. Just by removing that, no pursuers can reach the Earth's surface from the moon. Even now, they're pursuing us to a fake Earth. To an old musty Earth, yes. In short, you are a criminal. Those who try to escape from something are those who've committed a crime. Those who try to hide themselves are those who've admitted their crime. And criminals who've admitted to a crime always start making excuses. No, it's not like that. This may be a bit unreasonable, but I simply didn't want to go back to the moon because it was comfortable there. 
there's no need to worry. Once this morning, I'll return your full moon, you see? Lady Yuko, give me some instructions. Oh, have you understood what I was saying by now? <laughs> you love the way Yuko sounds. Well then, first, please become my shield. Believe to me, I'll be the hardest shield in all the netherworld. Seeing as I'll back you up if I feel like it. <laughs> A shield can only stop something from the outside. We Lunarians have the ability to use more internal forces. While you're becoming a hard shield, the soft parts inside you are slowly rotting. Yes, you carefree girl over there. A hard shield is meaningless. Don't worry, Yomu. I'm not alive, so I can't rot. I understand. You're rotting to begin with, right? But rot or not, it's the Kanpaku family's duty protect to protect you. I said I can't rot. I wonder how long that attitude of yours will last. The ceaselessly overflowing memory of the full moon. Amongst the earthlings bathed in it, there are none who didn't go insane. Looks like there's no helping it. Yomu, keep this one thing in mind so you don't go insane. Ah, oh, you're a phantom and not a human. I guess you won't rot then. Things are most delicious when they're about to rot. Why are you, why are you telling me that now? Well said. However, fermentation's a power granted by the gods. You ghosts, unable to rot, have been forsaken even by the gods. I'm just gonna spam my bombs here if that's okay. Die there, dude. Well, I clearly wasn't paying enough attention. You don't fuck it. Boom. Spam your bombs. Save one bomb for if you're about to die, that's all I'll say. I got kind of trigger happy. Whoops. I right, gave my full power. Oh yeah, this is the perfect one to do this on. <laughs> Boom. Alright, take that. What a fun theme. Oh, damn it, I pressed too late. I mean, it, that really cuts to her health bar, though. Like, damn. Alright. 
Wait, ain't there her final spell card anyway? Oh yeah, and th th for this one, bombs won't do anything, so you have to focus on surviving her. Okay, well, we got two lives then. Just focus on dodging then. Two lives left. Just gonna casually do that. Yeah, I think we got her. There we go. Alright. That was, I mean, that was too, that wasn't too bad. I guess we'll see how long I can live. <laughs> Woo! This could be, this would be a fun, uh, spell card to get down, honestly. This one is just kind of for bragging rights, though, I mean, whatever. Thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, here's where I, um, fuck. <laughs> That's where I died last time, too, I think. Yuko is losing her shit. Alright, we did it. We beat all four routes. Now I just gotta decide who I wanna do my 1cc with. That's kind of a hard decision, honestly. The Netherworld at night. The long-awaited full moon cheerfully illuminated against Sokyo. The Netherworld was even more serene. It was as if the sound of the moonlight could be heard. But while the full moon had indeed returned, the princess of the moon's people had hidden herself somewhere again. Today will be such a fun girl's day. Please don't approach me while singing. Besides, since when was today the girl's day? Yo, Mu, today are the pickled veggies. That's another sun development. But I'm already tired. You'll help me out, won't you? Let's get to it then. Yuyuko and Yomu going grocery shopping. New episode. I only wanted to see if a soul can prepare pickled vegetables. Won't they prepare themselves if you leave them like that? Or are you telling me that a soul has to prepare it? It won't get done by itself. Look at, look at Yomu. <laughs> With the pickled veggies, there's a person who knows how to do it. With the pickled veggies, you say? Pickled veggies are things of incense. In other words, they are the things of the divine. It's a gift from the powers of the heavens. So that's why? Then what will be the best thing to do with it? Ah, that's where you have to use your culinary powers. It's up to you how to utilize your power and produce the best tasting dish from it. Do your best. Start it by, by yourself and force it yourself? Is that all? Complimenting the pickled veggies is... Laugh. Complimenting the wife. Do it till others are jealous of it. Do your best. 
Yeah, I get it, I get it. I'll do it, jeez. And so, while an ordinary day unrelated to the full moon passed, Yuyuka was actually preparing herself for something else. This is the preparations for another departure. Shippy bustin' girl and a ghost who is mommy material and high as fuck. Yuyuka had realized that the full moon that returned was actually not the real moon. Okay, so that also took an hour long. I'm surprised how long those runs take. It's like an hour for that, an hour for everything, jeez. Yo, movie bussin'. Anyways, in terms of practice, I think probably I could do, like, um... I was thinking about doing Sakia's, honestly. But then again, Sakia's bombs are shit, so I don't know. Hard to say. But then again, I'm only really gonna be using bombs to... I'm only really gonna be using bombs to, like, save myself from dying. Yeah. Hmm. Mystical Maple. Do I get a special do I get a special reward for beating all the teams or what? I don't know actually. Either way, that was uh I I kinda sucked on stage three again for some reason. I don't know why, I've just been having trouble with stage three. I guess I need to practice it or something. So yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for 7.5 and Luigi Casino. Yes, we will be doing that eventually as well. I will be- I will, I'll do some spell card practice after this, and then I guess next time I play Toho 8, we'll, um, we'll try and do a 1cc. That's the next goal, I guess. This one's gonna be called Muyuko. It's my it's Moonness, but also Yuyuko. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna try it with I'm gonna try it with uh, for uh, Sakia. I mean, that one isn't really that bad, honestly. It's, uh, I think it's this one that I suck at. Wait, no, it's not this one. Oh, I can't practice her, um, I can't practice that one attack at the start. Well, whatever. Regardless, Kainé practice is very useful. Are you doing 7.5 in your gauge? Sure, if you want. It'll give us something to do. <laughs> anything to- anything to not have to play Trash. Or any of those games that we've milked to death. I'm sick of milking. I'm sick of milking trash and Smash Bros. think this would become muscle memory at this point. He's gotta make it a f he's gotta make a fucking announcement. I've come to make announcement.
I'm paying attention to uh, where she moves on the map. That's what I'm trying to get the hang of. Oops, I nudged a little too far to the left. Bad. Okay, this one just became really easy. All you have to do is tap left once, and then you win. Okay. I want to uh, test it out. Let's we'll see what happens if I don't move. Okay. That happens. I die. Well, we're gonna stand right in your face. How do you think? How do you like that? Fuck. She didn't like it. Right, I keep forgetting the bubbles are there. Okay, that one could take some practice, honestly. What if I stand right over here? Ah, uh, I'm right next to you. Come on. Wait, she make she shoots like purple bullets if you stand next to her. You want me to get nuked by Master Spark? Well, that's not very nice. Oops. Okay, so this one's kind of easy if you can just find the openings in the attack. I like Marissa for you to even test it out for yourself. I suppose we could test Marissa out after this. Actually, no. I'm gonna be fighting Ray with I'm gonna be fighting Raymond my playthrough, aren't I? If I decide to do the Remilia route. Yeah, this one's all about finding openings. Oh, there we go. And then Kinda having a migraine here, what the hell? Alright, stage 4A. Sure, you know what? Fuck it, since you wanna see it.
I I wasn't even close, dude. <laughs> One of her spells fucked me up. True, they did. You actually want you want to be standing under Marissa so you can actually shoot at her, you know. I just barely got it, holy shit. I mean, obviously that spell can fuck me up, yeah. The one that fucks me up is Milky Way, I fucking hate Milky Way, dude. Stardust Reverie is also a pain in the ass. It's like I never find a consistent way to dodge it. Obviously, it's easy when you do it in practice, but when you're actually in the heat of the of the run, you can't really keep up with that. Well, as I just realized something, are Marissa's colors randomized? I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, honestly. Wait a minute, I think I might be onto something. Her, yeah, yeah, you know what? No shit, her colors are actually randomized. That's a cool detail. Like the fucking stars keep spawning on top of me. <laughs> Wouldn't it be weird if you watch Toho Memories of Phantasm on stream? Um, yeah, it would be weird. I'd rather watch it on my own time, probably. If it was like Memories of Phantasm YouTube Poops, I'll watch those on stream. Those are funny. <laughs> Okay, we found we found the secret to that. We found what the secret is for that spell card. Finally, we found something there. Okay, now we just need to practice Raymu a bit. But a bit of practice from Raymu definitely can't hurt. Yeah, like, look how fast that was. I swear to god, Romelia's OP. Well, she's OP until she gets hit by a fucking red ball. Bad. <laughs> I've already seen all the YouTube hoops. Yeah, that's the problem. I've already seen all the funny ones. Dude, 
Dude, she dies so fucking fast with Vermilia. What the hell? Oops. I think I figured- I think I have an idea on who, who I want to do the playthrough with, honestly. Okay, just don't do that. Just don't get cocked over there like that. I'm liking, I'm liking Saki and Romilia's playstyle, honestly. Reminds me of that funny video of Raymu being like, shut the fuck up, I'm listening to my theme song. Dude, it's over already. Dude, I swear, Romilia has like the best shot type. Is it true that Yomu is the easiest to get at one CC with? Cause I don't know, man. I'm thinking Remilia. Hmm. You know what? Let's ask good old Google. Well, not Google. I'm asking Brave, technically. Well, actually, not. I don't know. I'm using the Google search engine, but I'm on Brave browser. Cause Brave browser's great. You know what? Let's ask. Let's ask them. Who should? I do 1cc with Toho 8. Let's see. Good team. I mean, obviously, everybody's going to give different answers. Hmm. Let's see. I'm struggling between Raymond Yukari and Marissa and Alice. While Vang is easier with Raymond because how many shots? Malice gives me an easier time collecting resources, which helps me at the start of the run. Reimu and Yukari is a good, very good shot tight. It has homing while in Reimu mode, and Yukari and Ron deal good damage while still giving you leniency to damage while focusing on evading bullets. They also have a bigger death bomb window. Oh yeah, that's right. Small Vampire Girl and the Not Jojo Bizarre Adventure character. Yomu is good for scoring points and also has very strong bombs. I do love Yomu's bombs. Imperishable Knight has the has the point of collection enabled if you focus. You don't need to be in full power. Okay. Imperishable Knight's the only game I won CC with so far, and the first time I did it was with Saki and Romilia. The focus shot is comprised of two parts. Um, one that comes from your character's current position, like normal, and one that is fixed based on where you were when you focused. If you position yourself properly, you can effectively shoot at two places at the same time, which in turn allows you to only have to worry about half the screen. Really, now? For resources, just focus. You don't need a magic team. I did with Reimu and Yukari. That homing plus smaller hitbox makes it way easier. Yeah. 
border team. You get a powerful homing shot that kills most popcorn enemies before they can fire a shot. Smaller hitbox, more generous death bomb when we don't have to worry about hitting enemy familiars. Mm. Is it bad I'm using Ghost Team as my first team? To be fair, I don't know too much. And I have a waifu bias towards you, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, it really seems like it doesn't really matter. Just use whoever you're best at. For me, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Mermelia is, like, amazing. No, let's just see how fast I can kill, um... Oh, yeah, I see. I see how it works. So if you constantly turn the shot on and off, you can, like, get a fuck ton of bullets. That's why Remelia is broken. I see now. Dude, that's a fucking amazing ability. Like, you can just, like, say, like, nah, nah, chief. So you could have... Hang on, how do I explain this? So let's say you have a boss where you want to be in the center of screen at all times, but the boss is, like, moving around all over the place, right? Or no, it's not that. What's a good example? A good example would be, like, um... Aaron's attack, where she's shooting that thing that she forces you to move around in a circle. You could just have Vermilia's bullets shooting at her while you're moving. And you don't have to worry about actually hitting her, because the bullets will hit them for you. Actually, that'd be a great idea. Also, we have last word. Yeah, all those last words that we don't have. And the extras. When did those get there? I don't remember. We also have 6B, which we can't do. Hmm. Forbidden Elixir. Is that the one that she ends with? I'm pretty sure, sure it is. What's the one where she shoots at you? Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Um... Is it lo lo Leading God? Yeah, this one. I want to see how fast I can kill her by doing that. Oh, well, shit. For the record, I'm probably not going to be using... Um, I'm probably not going to be practicing this fight very much. I really suck at that attack, by the way. <laughs> you know what? Just do a point. Can't even practice the damn spell because I suck at it. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna I'm not gonna be fighting Aaron anyways. Because if we ever get the chance to do um the B root playthrough, which I guess is what we'll try next time. Funny bunny. If we get the chance to play um a 1cc attempt next time. Buh. What I might do is I might do a 1cc attempt off screen and I'll see if I can I'll see if I can make it to Kaguya stage. Because that's the first thing I have to do. I have to get good at the game enough so that I don't continue up until stage six. You're late, yeah, you're late, Jose. I'm about to end the stream, but I beat, um, I beat Yomu's playthrough, um, as you can see right here, it says Final B opened. Yomu's route was pretty funny, because Yuyuko, Yuyuko was just taking the piss out of everything. So, yeah. Anyways, if you want to know who I'm probably going to do a 1cc with, I'm probably going to attempt it with Sakuya and Remilia. Because Vermilia has a really broken, um, she has a really OP shot type. And that's probably what I'm going to try and do. So yes, for ones I'm not actually going to be doing it with Marissa, because apparently it's the hardest one to do it with, and I, you know, I want to make it easy for myself. So yeah. 
You had to go to the doctors. Oh, that's understandable then. Oh well. Um, if I'm not doing anything, uh, actually, I, I might be doing something Friday morning. I might be playing Lethal Company with Zach Friday morning. So we probably won't get to do uh, Toho for a little while. I, I, chances are I won't get to do Toho again until Monday at the earliest because Friday I'm going to be doing Lethal Company maybe. Saturday we're going to be doing Mario Kart Wii and on Sunday me and Zeppi are going to be finishing Engage. So yeah, Toho 8 is it's going to be a while before it comes back I think. So yeah. By the way, uh, one more thing before I go. Uh, I got an email from AmiAmi Ami this morning. They say that they're going to be shipping my Cerno Fumo. I don't know when it's going to arrive, but they said it shipped. So, hopefully I get it eventually. I don't know. It could be a few days. It could be, uh, like, seven months. I don't know when it's coming. But, eventually I will get my Cerno Fumo. And I'm going to do an unboxing video. You're moving on Saturday. Okay, that's good to know. I'm going to assume moving will take you a few weeks. I don't know how long it'll take. For me, it took me a whole month to move, but you might be a little quicker about it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thanks guys for watching Toho 8. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And, um... I'll see... Oh, you know what I just realized? Um... My, my capture card was making noise this whole time. Well, um, sorry about the noise this stream, I guess. I, I had to re, I had to put my capture card back on because it kept breaking my graphics card and my OBS. So, yeah. That kind of sucks. I'm gonna give that a listen later and see how it sounds. It's probably gonna sound shitty. Yeah. No secret mod for a few weeks either. Yeah, you're right about that. Guess I'm gonna have to find something to do. Alright, well anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.